Well, the big angle afterwards uh, with Okada Tanahashi and Ishii retaining the titles, John Moxley informs them that they are they do not think that Okada Tanahashi and Ishii are the best wrestlers in the world because we train with the best in the world and he has sent a message and we go to the mountains. Um, this looks like a ransom video here with this still shot and it's Brian Danielson in the mountains and he announces that he has heard all of the hype about Kazuchika Okada. This man calls himself the Rainmaker. Well, when you're in the fucking desert with me, there is no rain. And Brian Danielson wants Okada at Forbidden Door. And this is one of two matches coming out of the show that we have set up for Forbidden Door. But this was probably not many people's option. It was Jim Ross swerved everyone on Rampage to lead you into the direction of Zack Sabre Jr. And here we get Danielson and Okada. <laughs> Jim Ross and I think it really everybody you know that I, I don't know if, if that necessarily was my expectation but it also probably was my leading candidate I mean it was that was the match that they were going to do last year I mean Zach to my knowledge like has still continued to tease it off and on um but this is a bigger match it really is you know um it's it'll probably also get more than 15 minutes oh well, you'd hope you'd hope I, I don't I'm not I don't know if it's a, it's a sure bet do you think it main event? Well, we don't know the whole card yet. I would say no. I think at this point, I don't know if anything is going to be bigger than Omega and Osprey on that show. Agreed. Uh, I, I, as big as this match is, as, as much of a dream match, like a, a, a legitimate dream match it really is, um, you know the quality that Osprey and Omega are going to deliver, and that's going to be tough to top for anybody. Osprey gets the win after a final hidden blade and then challenges Kenny Omega for Forbidden Door and then declares war on Canada. Should I be scared? I I think he's coming for all Canadians. And you know how everyone raved about his uh, his his go home promo before the Kenny Omega match at the press conference. I think his his go home promo before Forbidden War it should air on Collision the night before mm -hmm. on King Street on top of Bret Hart's Walk of Fame star. Ooh, I love it! Great. Is that what is that? Is that the the destination hangout of? Is that the the only wrestling monument we have in the city? Uh, yes, he can he can go cut his promo and then he can jump into Gabby's for a drink and then uh, make his way back to uh, the Scotia Bank Arena. Okay, yeah. Well, he's waging war, and you know what? Um, I welcome it. Um, I I when when kind of like you know we were talking about whether where this match should take place. Um, if it was a decision between. Wembley and Toronto I was willing to say Wembley because I think it's a bigger stage doing it at Forbidden Door in Toronto suggests to me that there's a possibility they might do it, do again, it again at yeah. Wembley um but I'm very happy that's taken place in Toronto and that we'll be able to watch it live I mean the first match might still be a leading candidate for match of the year for me right now and I think uh, it is for most people Ex yeah, chapter two is going to have some very, very high expectations attached to it. I can't remember a match. Maybe you have to go back to Omega and Okada in terms of a second match having this level. I would say this one, it might even be a higher standard that people have. Um, like mm -hmm. as great as that first Okada Omega match is. Um, and and they did surpass the first one. By, by the end of that series, they did surpass it. But this one will be um, certainly... Um, you know, they're coming in with gigantic expectations, but um, there you have it. So those are the two I, matches we have so far for Forbidden Door. Let me just say, I hope these four men wrap themselves in bubble wrap for the next uh, month or next few weeks at least so that they can at least make it. Because, I mean, I cannot take the heartbreak that might come from an injury to any of these guys. Travel, like travel plans, screwing up, like that would just kill me at this point. So... I hope everybody stays healthy. Post Wrestling and Poison Rana, we are teaming up. The Forbidden Poor, Post Wrestling and Poison Rana, the same day, if for anyone traveling in for Forbidden Door, we will be literally steps away from the Scotia Bank Arena. It is right next door. It is attached to the arena. We're going to have a pre-party. John and Wei, you guys are going to do a podcast before the show, but it's afterwards that the after party is where things are really going to kick off because... We're going to do some wrestling karaoke. 
and it's already been promised that a Mr. John Pollock is going to sing All In yes. by Downstate yeah, he agreed. It was in the contract. Karaoke. We, we've been throwing a few parties before, but nothing this big, nothing this huge. This is our double or nothing, really, and we're so excited. This is going to be a blast. If you're thinking about Forbidden Door Weekend, now is your chance because tickets are available now, aren't they, Way? Yes, they are right now. Postwrestling.com slash live. I'm super excited. 